You are watching The Book Club. Every Wednesday, we handpick the best books to improve your life. 15 Books Jordan Peterson Thinks Everyone Should Read Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back. It's great to have you here with us again to enjoy another awesome video brought to you by our team. Today, we're revealing to you the books that had the most impact on Jordan Peterson. He took the world by storm, and before we knew it, he was spreading his wisdom all over and helping millions of people. If you know anything about Jordan Peterson, you know this man has read thousands of books, even before he was an adult. That's pretty incredible, considering that most teenagers barely pick up a book at all nowadays. Since this isn't a video on Jordan, we'll keep this intro short and dive right into the 15 books Jordan Peterson thinks everyone should read. Here we go. Number 1. Man's Search for Meaning by Viktor Frankl If you haven't heard of this one, be prepared to go on a despondent journey like no other. Viktor Frankl was a Viennese psychiatrist who spent most of World War II in Nazi concentration camps, where he was imprisoned and subjected to numerous horrific and malevolent things. During his time there, Frankel had a revelation like no other. He saw that those who comforted others and offered their last piece of bread survived the longest, leading him to conclude that everything can be taken away from a human being except their attitude in any given set of circumstances. With this remarkable memoir, Viktor Frankl teaches the world that the primary human drive is not pleasure, but the pursuit of what is meaningful to each and every one of us. We believe that this is a rare gem that should be mandatory in schools around the world. But until that happens, please read it for yourself. It'll greatly enrich your perspective on life. You can get Man's Search for Meaning for free by going to alux.com slash freebook and signing up, thanks to our partnership with Audible. Number 2. How to Spend $50 Billion to Make the World a Better Place by Bjorn Lomborg This man is on a mission to make the world a better, safer place to live in, so he thought up an enjoyable way to educate us about how we can contribute to fixing the top 10 most serious challenges the world's facing today by spending money. With insights from world-renowned experts, Lomborg wrote this book in order to provide everyone with a rich and comprehensive perspective on access to education, financial instability, migration, climate change, and six other major problems the world is facing. Number 3. Modern Man in Search of a Soul by Carl Jung this is one of the first books that perfectly integrates theories and concepts of some of the most debated topics in psychology. Dream analysis, the primitive unconscious, and the relationship between psychology and religion. As one of the most influential thinkers of the past century, Jung sought to help people clear up some feelings of confusion that many experience today. For anyone seeking meaning and direction in life, this book is definitely a must-read. Number 4. Brave New World by Aldous Huxley Brace yourself, Aluxers, for a pretty amazing novel set in a dystopian world far into the future. Huxley created quite a hideous society, one which attempts to purge humanity and irrational feelings from people's hearts in order to make life more enjoyable and straightforward. A dystopia is one where society faces great suffering and injustices at the hands of a vile system controlled by a few people, and Brave New World is a perfect novel to illustrate such a system, one that is on par with Orwell's 1984. Number 5. The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky Every so often, we hear Peterson make references to The Idiot by Dostoevsky, and for good reason. The book is more like a psychological exercise than a novel, where it shows how normal people, who are limited by personalities and social statuses, are only able to express themselves within their limited frame. Anything beyond this is taboo and punished accordingly. Then you have The Idiot, who's the happiest character of them all, because he has real freedom and is able to live and express himself without any societal restraints. Dostoevsky wrote such a great novel that, after reading thousands of other books, Jordan Peterson put The Idiot atop of his recommendation list. Number 6. Beyond Good and Evil by Friedrich Nietzsche This little book is a valiant endeavor to sum up Nietzsche's entire philosophy. It's designed to give the reader a thorough understanding of his thought and style. Beyond Good and Evil fully rejects the Western thinking with its notions of what is true, what is God, and good and evil. 
He reveals that the Christian world is deeply entranced in a false piety and contaminated with a slave morality. Nietzsche believed in the full potential of humanity, which he hoped would go beyond the values dictated by a social system. Number 7. The Road to Wigan Pier by George Orwell If it's an Orwellian piece, you know it's bound to be, in a good way, a thorough and articulate critique of society. The Road to Wingham Pier is a clever and bitter debate that is still very much relevant nowadays. Social injustices, hunger, growing unemployment are all vivid and honest descriptions of a 1930s Britain. This book introduced ideas that would be found in Orwell's later works and novels and remains a powerful portrayal of injustice, poverty, and class divisions in Britain. Number 8. A History of Religious Ideas by Mercha Iliade Rather than a standalone book, the author decided to split his work into three pretty comprehensive volumes. This is the most detailed work on religions that was ever written from prehistoric ones to ancient Egypt and Greece, to African religions all the way back to modern Christianity, Islam, Sikhism, Buddhism, and others. Not only does Iliade go deep into each religion tackling every angle, but he also mentions why there were and still are so many religions everywhere, and why people feel like they need one or more gods to go on with their daily living. Number 9. A Farewell to Arms by Ernest Hemingway Hemingway is always a great read, and this novel is exactly what you would expect from him, romance spiced up with some tragedy. A Farewell to Arms is one of the best novels World War I related ever written. It tells an unforgettable, passionate story shared by an Italian paramedic and an English nurse set in the dreary landscape of World War I, where the harsh realities of war plunged the two lovers into immense drama. If this doesn't sound captivating to you, let us just tell you something pretty incredible. The author rewrote the ending 39 times to get it right. If Hemingway spent that much time on it, you know it's going to be a great read. And you can get the book for free. To find out for yourself, just go to alux.com slash free book and sign up. Number 10. The World's Religions by Huston Smith this little masterpiece explores all the major religions in the world, describing key elements and teaching from each of them. Smith gives special attention to Buddhism, Sufism, and the teachings of Jesus and conveys the unique gifts of each of them and how they fit perfectly into our human hearts and imagination. If you guys want to find out some more about this topic, click or tap in the top right corner to check out our video on the 10 most powerful religions on Earth. Number 11. Effective Neuroscience by Jock Punk Sepp For a long time, human and especially animal emotions have been classified as a topic that's beyond scientific explanation because they were not real. However, today, more and more scientists are discovering how real and how immensely impactful they are on our daily lives. Punk Sepp provides a comprehensive, easy-to-understand framework for the fundamental neural sources of human and animal feelings, as well as a perspective on the complex issue of emotions in relation to consciousness and the psychiatric implications of this knowledge. Number 12. The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck if the title of this book gives you a strong and dramatic impression, that's because it kind of is so. The captivating narrative of this novel is set in the 1930s and follows the story of a family that collides with the harsh realities of an American society divided into the haves and have-nots. The plentitude of false hopes, thwarted desires, and everyday injustices in this novel stir up the souls of the main characters, which contribute to the demonstration of the incredible endurance and dignity of the human spirit. Number 13. Notes from the Underground by Fyodor Dostoevsky the second entry from Dostoevsky on this list comes in the form of his most revolutionary work, Notes from the Underground. Even though the author wrote this book in a time when Russia was experiencing a good and contented society, he used Notes from the Underground to predict that the times would take a turn for the worst. The main theme throughout this novel is man's intensified sense of self, which Dostoevsky believes is his greatest strength and also his prominent weakness. Number 14. The Red and the Black by Stendhal The main theme of this novel revolves around a young, ambitious idealist who aims to rise above his humble origins, but he soon realizes that society is complex, and without adopting a little hypocrisy, he would not achieve his goals. 
on the journey the protagonist has set on. The reader will see how riddled with corruption and greed French society has become since the devastating defeat of Napoleon at Waterloo, and what will become of him in this Machiavellian society. Number 15. The Gulag Archipelago by Alexander Solzhenitsyn it seems like Peterson is a big fan of Russian authors, who would have guessed? That aside, this novel depicts a Stalinist dystopia at the heart of the Soviet Union, where if you wish for survival, the key lies in despair rather than hope. The Gulag Archipelago is a convoluted, extensive web of secret police, spies, informers, camps, prisons, interrogators, and of bravery. There's no doubt that this book will take you to the brink of emotional distress along with the protagonist of this story. Well, Aluxers, this is surely one of the most interesting collections of book recommendations we've had on this channel. We hope you enjoyed this list and will enjoy the books even more. Speaking of, have you already read any of the books mentioned? Let us know down in the comments. And of course, for being a true Aluxer and sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. Number 16. Maps of Meaning – The Architecture of Belief by Jordan Peterson we had to include Peterson's first book since the content is pretty remarkable and also for its backstory. Maps of Meaning is more like a course of hundreds of hours packed into a book that's brimming with wisdom and meaning, made accessible to the modern critical mind that brings together neuropsychology, cognitive science, and Freudian and Jungian ways of thinking. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story.